Hi, um, my name is Matt. Um, here in La Ceiba, Honduras. Um, volunteering here through March 16th through the 27th. Getting, went over to uh, uh, work in a lot of little kids there. That was a lot of fun. Um, the local Got a View Corporation coordinator was definitely uh, very helpful and if I had any questions he would answer them thoroughly and ask if I needed something he would help me out with it and um, any concerns, whatever, it was, it just, it was kind of there for me and stuff. Um, most surprising thing that's ever, that was I experienced here in the country, um, pretty much just the beauty of the landscape and how um, different it is than back in America. Um, definitely the culture is definitely different, the food is different, um, definitely um, the people were definitely willing to help each other out and just, it was a lot different. Um, just, the most difficult part of this experience was probably um, just not really knowing what to do at first. Um, not really sure where, what I'm supposed to do, not sure who I'm supposed to go to to talk. Um, definitely communication was a big thing. Um, not really knowing Spanish is not the most ideal. Um, definitely should have learned that. <laughs> um, the, the country itself was mostly with the heat, also it's kind of hard to uh, partake with, um, not really expecting that coming from the United States where it's cold and straight into the heat was definitely a lot different than I had expected. Um, um, mostly with the clothing, because it's so hot here in the Sabre, just mostly like shorts, flip-flops, uh, t-shirts, sunglasses. Um, lots of sunscreen and bug spray for sure as well. Um, I guess if you're going hiking, maybe bring some hiking boots and some sturdier shoes as well. Um, uh, with any donations here, um, definitely money would help a lot for construction of buildings and um, just in general, really. Um, but yeah. Um, the accommodation and meals and security around here in the Saber has been um, quite nice, actually. The meals, there's a lot of fast food back home as well. It's here, um, like Burger King and Wendy's and pizza, and that's always nice. But um, while I was staying at my guest house, they uh, fed me well, and they gave me lots of new, interesting foods for me to try. And just, it's been comfortable, and I get to sleep at night, and sure sometimes at night it's really hot but there's a fan and it's it's still comfortable and definitely uh, enjoyable to stay here and um some of my favorite memories here in los angeles would probably be while i was at jungle school with all of the kids running around and jumping on me and i get to tickle them and um definitely having a lot of fun with that um but um also one day we were out on a saturday um with a group of us we went to um another kind of city um, village um, we uh, went and helped out with medical supplies and giving them blood pressure and helping them with medicines and stuff like that and definitely uh, different than I had expected as well with that I'm not really sure what I was doing because I'm not in that kind of field um, but it was definitely still a lot of fun um, definitely a good little trip to take um, the support with communication and getting back and forth with it brought a view and the whole trip itself um, very well actually. Um, I didn't really do it as much as my mother did, um, but when I was here with the coordinator, he definitely helped out with that and um, definitely did a lot for me with that and worked pretty well. And, with the website itself, um, definitely has a lot of good tips, a lot of good background on places. Uh, the other volunteers definitely um, they added good information, good places to go visit, stuff like that. Uh, works really well. Um, 
being able to speak with other volunteers through the a broader view, I'm perfectly okay with that. Just, I mean, I'm perfectly okay with explaining my experience and explaining, talking with them and saying how mine is and if they want to share theirs wherever they went and just having a nice conversation with that, I'm definitely willing to do that. Um, mostly with figuring out about the website and the organization was through my mother. Um, she went through a diff when she went to Cambodia. She went through a different organ organization, and it wasn't as great. So she researched around and looked around, and she had reviews on uh, a broader view, and she saw that uh, it was really good. So she went on there and talked and communicated with Sarah and talked to Raphael. And um, but yeah, I really didn't do much of the communication with that, but. Um, just being here in general was a lot of fun, um, definitely had a um, great time here in the Sabre and I, I hope that I can come back, um, definitely for sure would love to come back to the Sabre and help out and yeah, it should be fun. Okay man, thank you for volunteering with our brother view Honduras, have a safe trip home and we hope to see you back very soon. Definitely, thank should you. be fun. Thank <laughs> you.